hope you oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. It wasn't rain that radar picked up in Southern California. It was a little more buggy than that. Turns out the radar picked up a swarm of ladybugs. So many ladybugs are flying around the area. It was picked up in the National Weather Service radar. Look at it right there. Huh. Uh, we got a category four ladybug situation going on. Uh, the bloom, as it's called, measured about 80 miles wide. While the prospect of seeing a massive collection of bugs flying around might seem terrifying, experts say many people on the brown, uh, ground probably didn't even notice anything different. Uh, the concentrated ladybugs were spread over different elevations as they searched for food, something typical for this time of year. Cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, you've been slapped with Zion. Uh, next story, uh, red ice that was spotted in a photo from Pluto suggests that a small, the small planet may have recently released mountains and fountains of water into space. According to the new research report that was released back in March, it gives scientists a new glimpse of the organic structure of the salty subsurface sea. Uh, in a new analysis, researchers found signs of ammonia where water and ice was exposed. Researchers also noticed this crack on Pluto. On the surface, which they think belongs to a volcano, was recently released the ammonia and organic rich water recently into the air. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been slapped with science. Yeah. yeah. Eduardo, why are you so far away? You scared of me? Huh? Huh? Mr. Muscles? Huh? Huh? All right. The Smithsonian Deep Time exhibit is giving dinosaurs new life. The Smithsonian has been working on this new exhibit for about five years now. Finally, the Dinosaur Hall is going to open its doors to the public on June the 8th, the new aspect. Is the exhibit actually starts with humans first? The creator said they wanted to show how all living organisms, past and present, are connected together. The exhibit also highlights the changing ecosystem and the changing of the environment, and people will be able to examine dinosaur bones more closely. Very cool. Very, very cool. But let me remind people: people and dinosaurs were not around at the same time. time. I don't care how many lies that the Flintstones told you. <laughs> Timeline does not match up. All right, there you go. You've been slapped with science. Thanks,